Hi, I'm Steve Chapman from EMS Now, and I'm here at Apex 2013 in sunny San Diego. And joining me on the booth this morning is Dan Ashley. Dan is a market specialist with Nordson Asimtech. Dan, welcome. Good Thank you very you. much, Steve. Thanks yeah, for coming it's a pleasure by. Pleasure to be here. Let me start off in the context of the show by asking you about the show. How's yeah. it being for you? Uh, so far, so good. This is, you know, this is the third day of the show, and. Sure. You know, we've had a lot of good traffic, and um, people seem to be liking what they see at the show and at the different booths. So, so far, so good. That sounds good. Yeah. yeah. So, tell me a little bit about uh, the Nordson Asymtech business. You know, what's going on? Where's it heading? Sure. Well, uh, in, in general, Nordson Asymtechs make automated dispensing equipment. So, anything from benchtop systems to inline machines. Um, we offer uh, uh, needle type dispensing, and really, our primary. Uh, product right now is jet dispensing. So that's that's um, we've been doing jetting for almost 20 years now, and we actually invented jetting. So it's it's really taken off, and probably most 80, 90 percent of our business is, is going with jetting technology. Now that is okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, genuinely, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, you know, know the industry pretty well, but 20 years jetting. So and there is, am I right in saying, some kind of new technology in the in the jetting environment? For that's you? right. That's yeah. right. So we re recently. Uh, introduced and launched a new product called the NextJet. Um, it's, it's quite unique and a little bit different from some of the other jets that are on the market and different types of valves in that there's a one one piece, a very small piece, this is called the Genius Jet Cartridge. It's and, this, a, and this is the cartridge? This is it, right here. So it's one small piece that, that snaps into the NextJet system uh -huh. and that this is the only wetted part that comes off of the system. It can be removed and reinstalled within about one minute so you, very, you have very high utilization of the equipment because you're not spending your time taking the valve off the system, breaking it down into the sometimes 10 to 15 subcomponents that the, the maintenance team or the operator has to inspect and clean and put back together again. So it really simplifies the process quite considerably by just having everything contained in this one package. So it's productivity improvement tool Absolutely. amongst other things, I'm sure. That's correct. So yep. is that a consumable part? Um, relatively consumable. It'll last about three months in production. Okay. So, um, but after that, and it's really going to depend on the type of fluid that you're putting through it. Some some yep. fluids are very abrasive, and others, well, you could get up to a year of life with the, with the jet cartridge. But in general, for like, say, underfills that have silica fillers in them, that's quite abrasive material, yeah. about three months in production, or, or equivalent to about 25 million to 50 million cycles. Oh, right, right. Yeah, so it's, it's a, a pretty big number. That puts it in context, doesn't <laughs> right. it? Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of cycles, okay. Yep. And so that's a, is that going to be at the core of a particular product or many products now? Is it something you're rolling out across the range? Absolutely, the core oh, yeah. of many products, yeah. So, so we, we, we can mount this the NextJet system onto any one of our dispense platforms. And going forward in the future, this is really the technology that we're, we're, we're moving forward with. Is this something that you've been asked for by customers, or is it just uh, something that you've identified was, you know, something that needed to be fulfilled? Like there was a need or a better way to do Certainly. it? Certainly, a little bit of both. Um, mm -hmm. Just just by having a jetting technology um, that that works well in production. So that that technology is out there today, but it's relatively complicated in that you have so many parts to break down, mm -hmm. and you have to have very skilled operators that know how to break down all those parts, inspect them for how much wear they have gone through and how they reassemble it. If, if they make a mistake, if they put a seal in upside down or they forget to install a part on it, then you could potentially have yield loss yeah. in, in your production environment. And that's, you know, that's the number one thing that you don't want to have. See, now that's interesting. So in some senses, making it as simple as that and as small as that, right. so de-skills the operating Absolutely. process. And yeah. that's got to be an attractive proposition for sure. any manufacturer. That's surely? right, that's right. Okay. Yeah, that's so in addition to that, the, the Genius Jet cartridge also has smarts built into it. So there's an RFID chip in this. So the system will track and, and record how many cycles it's been through. So you could take this off any one of your dispense platforms and put it onto any one of your other dispense platforms and it will read and write to the RFID chip so you know exactly how much life it has left. Wow. So there's no more guesswork that the operator has to do in trying to go, can I still use this in production or has it reached its life? It will tell you when it's reached its life. So you can, you know, that's when you know when you have to discard it. That's pretty good. RFID technology seems to be popping up in all sorts of places now, doesn't it? That That's is right. pretty impressive. And yeah, that yeah, also it's... makes a great deal of sense, doesn't right, it? Right, right. In terms of keeping the, you know, the quality of the of the operation and the process, you know, in top shape. So that's good. That's right. Any um, thoughts generally on the market about? In, we're at the beginning of 2013 still, so we've got a few more months to go. What are your thoughts about where this industry is headed? Well, I, ideas? I think that um, with with the um, the growing mobile device market and smartphones and tablets, there's 
there's lots of opportunities for suppliers to to get into that supply chain and um, you know uh, as as the density of components on circuit board gets smaller and smaller it it really offers lots of opportunities for people if they've got a, a product that can meet the need for those dense packaging in those mobile devices there's there's a lot of opportunity for that so that's what we're seeing um, and it's going very good so far yeah. Well, delighted to talk to you this morning. Yeah, well, booth. thank you, Steve. And, uh, thanks for coming by. And no problem. I wish you success for the last few hours of the show and, thank of course, you. the rest of the year. So, thank yeah, you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.